How much land did the Jews really own? The answer might shock you from the scriptures. Uh, what was originally promised to Abraham and to his seed after him. And uh, let's look about this in the scriptures. Book of Genesis, chapter 15, and verse 18 says, In the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates. From the Nile to the Euphrates, and then up. I'll show you a map here, a picture of a map that kind of shows you how big that area is going to be. Here's the map. You can see it basically is a huge triangle there. This is from the uh, Ruckman Reference Bible. And that shows you basically the land grant that uh, God gave to Abraham and to his physical seed. And uh, you say, well, that would include the descendants of Ishmael, wouldn't it? Oh, uh, well, not ac actually according to the uh, New Testament, no. no. Galatians chapter 4, beginning in verse 28. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise. But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit, even so it is now. Very true for today. Nevertheless, what saith the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. Hmm. Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman there. Um, so, no, Ishmael doesn't have a right to that land. It's just for the Jews. Um, talk about, the, you know, they say from the, what is it, from the river to the sea, Palestine will soon be free or something like this. Well, how about uh, from the Nile to the Euphrates, <laughs> someday that will go to the Jews. There you go, from the river to the river. Um, the river of Egypt there, I believe it's a reference to the Nile. But, uh, so all these people out there that are getting all upset about Israel trying to take Gaza back, it's their land. They have a right to it. Um, God gave it to them. But you see, most people are atheists and they hate God and they hate his word. That's why they think that the Jews don't have a right to that land. Um, if you're Jewish out there, you better fight for your land. Because God told you to do it. Don't worry about the United Nations or China or Russia or the United States or all the Islamic, you know, empire around you. Turkey and, and uh, Iran and all the others. Don't worry about it. I mean, be strategic with it, obviously, but uh, you're going to see in the future that that land will come back to the children of Israel. How do, you, how do I know that? Because the Bible said so. So I believe the Bible. And uh, if you're Jewish, you need to do the same. You need to start thinking about the scriptures and put your faith in the word of God. But the interesting thing is a lot of Jews will say, well, the New Testament is anti-Jewish. It's an anti-Jewish thing. Oh, uh, no, it's not. It was written by Jews. And you don't get the full revelation of the land there and the promise of the land unless you have the New Testament. Because the New Testament says that that land belongs to the Jews, exclusively to the Jews, not the Jews and the descendants of Ishmael. Hmm, I don't think that's exactly anti-Jewish. So uh, I suggest you follow the scriptures if you're Jewish. And uh, don't you dare go against the nation of Israel and what they're doing, kicking those people out of the land. Because God is the one who's behind this movement. God brings them back in unbelief. And God is going to restore that land to the nation of Israel. That belongs to the Jews. And if you're going to stand against that, then you need to check yourself because you're probably not saved. Um, to go against the scriptures in that manner would be very serious. All right. Well, it's a, it's a terrible, bloody thing. There's children that are dying and things. Yeah, that's war. That's war. And if you read the Old Testament, you'll see that uh, a lot of times there were children in countries, heathen people and things, and those children died. Um, because it's war. That's what war is. War is a terrible, bloody thing. Um, but if you have these people and they're in there and they don't want to leave, God's going to drive them out. It's just that simple. So that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching.